everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. This might look professional with the white backdrop. Thank you, thank you. You should have seen me and my mom stapling this to the ceiling. It might come tumbling down, but for now, it looks pretty professional. I remember years ago, I used to use a backdrop when I would do makeup videos because I felt like it was less distracting. So let me know how you like this because I can continually staple it to the ceiling if it helps you see the makeup. By the way, did I mention we're doing makeup? Okay, so today we are going to be diving into Timu again. I've done a couple videos on Timu, all not sponsored by Timu. And trust me when I say, if I wanted this to be sponsored by Timu, it could have been. They definitely know I exist. <laughs> now, just to be clear, I'm not saying if someone reviews a brand that they're sponsored by, they're just gonna be like lying through their teeth. A lot of people who get sponsored by a brand genuinely like that brand. For instance, myself, if I'm ever sponsored by a brand, I genuinely like them, so it's easy to talk highly of them. But I must be honest, sometimes when I'm watching a video and the entire video is sponsored and everything is a positive review, I can't help but wonder what the brief from the brand was. Maybe you weren't allowed to say something negative. Maybe all the products were just awesome, but it leaves me to want to do my own research. So if you don't know what Timu is, it's an online shopping site and it's super super popular. It's been like number one shopping app in the world for a very long time. I feel like it really impedes on the Wish, AliExpress, that kind of market, where you can get a bunch of stuff for very, very cheap, all presumably produced in China. And specifically, I've watched a few videos where people are reviewing their makeup, but they always seem to be sponsored. So I want to try the makeup and see what I think. I don't personally shop Timu products in my everyday life. I usually just shop them for videos if you guys are curious about it or if I feel like something needs to be reviewed because it's getting really popular. I just wanna give you the full unsponsored rundown on these pieces. So with all of that being said, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so here is everything I ordered. This was honestly such a fantastic day when I received this because I was anticipating receiving everything in their own little mailer, kind of how Wish used to do it. But one thing I really like about Timu is it's all in one package, which is so nice. Why did I buy that? Okay, so one of the categories that was very enticing was the makeup application category. There's gonna be like a hundred million of these. Hmm, that looks so squishy. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to find like weird products. Like what is this? A little sponge for under your eyes. Not every category is plentiful with products. You'll notice when I'm shopping for the setting powder. Crickets. But the makeup brushes, they had a lot of options, very affordable. Okay, so for $5.97, we have this brush that looks like a rose. Honestly, this brush is very, very soft. For $17, we got nine of these brushes. These are very interesting. First of all, again, we've got a metal looking handle, but it's not actually metal, it's plastic, so they're quite light. This is a very densely packed brush. Also, please excuse all of this gray on me. The glitter grout has been struggling as of late, so I decided to re-grout the bathroom last night with a charcoal. It didn't go amazing. Yeah. Oh gosh. This is kind of like the Sailor Moon inspired brushes, I think. They have like a rose gold handle with all this little detail. Oh, again, super soft. Here's the base of that one. Each base is different. I mean, definitely for looks, these are cute. I think the likelihood of this part snapping off for me upon like my first use, the chances are high, but we won't worry about that yet. The last brush I bought, which was an individual one, and I got this because really thin eyeliner brushes are hard to come by. Wow, this one's so thin. Thin. I kind of want to see if it's actually that thin in real life. You've enticed me. Honestly, it's not as thin as I thought it was gonna be. Based on the photo, I thought it was gonna be smaller than this, but it's still nice. I like to apply my foundation with a sponge. So there was these miniature little sponges and you just put them on your finger like that. This was a dollar and 39 cents. It is a little bit dirty on the back there. It's kind of concerning, but you know, that's what this video is for. I'm gonna test all this stuff. Oh, it's really really squishy. Before the foundation, I got this Hydro Boost Niacinamide Cream Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. First, we need a primer. Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer with mm, Niacinamide. Okay, what? What is this? 
Must search. Oh, what? Caterpillar fungus. Now I'm kind of nervous. This was $13.94, which for a cream is not too bad, but for team move it was kind of expensive. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. Look at how thick that is. That is so thick. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of it. It's so thick. Is this supposed to be like a foundation? Oh my sweet lord, this is thick. Oh, it's like sunblock. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, let's keep blending. It's thick. And the problem is I can't read it, so I don't know if it has SPF in it, but my guess would be 100% yes, but that's just a guess. I also bought these headbands. I wanted to try them and I need it right now because I'm getting this all in my hair. That was honestly kind of crazy how thick that was. It's hard to speak to anything skincare related because I can't read it, but it actually feels kind of nice. The container is nice enough. It says luxurious cream on it. So what more do you need really? <laughs> But okay, on to the foundation. I guess there's only like a few foundation options, so let's just use one of these ones. Okay, we'll try it out. Oh my gosh, this shade range. <gasps> wow, wow, wow. Okay, the foundation I got is the Mushroom Head Sponge BB Cream. It was $7.64. Let's see if it's really good. So, this little thing does look like a mushroom. Now the shade ranges. The shade ranges were hurting it, okay? Push with the mushroom, and then it goes on there. Oh, no. There honestly wasn't that many foundation options, so we kind of are making do with what we've got. You look when I squish it, it comes out of those little holes, but not very much, honestly. I'm gonna be here for a while, I think. I just don't think there's that much product in here, if I have to be honest. I wanna try my other powder puff. There's just no product coming out of this. I understand it's a BB cream and it's gonna be lightweight. And honestly, the stuff I do get on my skin is nice. It's dewy, it looks pretty, but my goodness, like give me product. I thought this was gonna be a really fun applicator, but it's kind of annoying. It's so oily. Look at that. I feel like I just dabbed oil on my face right there. Now we're moving to concealer. There was so few concealer options and I guess I bought this one in the color six, which this is why I record myself shopping. Cause like, why did I buy this color? Because look at how dark it is. I'm gonna get it in the darkest shade. I'm just curious to see. That better not be their darkest shade. We're gonna use the concealer as contour now. We're gonna go in with a little brush and I'm gonna try to contour a little. The problem is I don't wanna wipe all my foundation off. It kinda smells weird. All cosmetics kinda smell unique. The color is actually pretty for warming up my face. It is wiping all my foundation off. I think partly because this brush is so dense, partly because the foundation is just grease. And the thing is, is whenever I see these videos and people cheat and use like their own stuff, I get so frustrated, but I'm so tempted to just use a little bit of my own concealer because I think everything else would go so much better, but I'm not going to. I was so excited for this video and now look at me. Wait, what is this? This is a concealer? <gasps> Wait, I bought a different concealer as well. And this one looks like it might match me better. Hold on, please work. Oh, it's very hard. It's very, very hard and very thick. And the coverage is very minimal. I'm sorry, it's just grease. Like it's just oil. You know what though? I'm starting to wonder. You know how dewy skin is so popular and people think it's so beautiful? Maybe these are supposed to be like this. I'm supposed to look like an oil slick. I wouldn't suggest the foundation or either of the concealers, to be honest with you. Honestly, I'll link down below in the shop feature, not sponsored by these brands I'm gonna link, but I'll link affordable, cruelty-free makeup products that I would suggest over these ones. So I, I don't think I have a setting powder because I couldn't find one. We need setting powder. Now setting powder is always so hard. It's so hard for brands to do, I don't know why. Yeah, okay, do we have any setting powder around here? Why can I not find anything? Isn't there supposed to be like a bazillion options of everything? Literally nothing, this is so weird. Alrighty, 
Never mind. But I did find this tri-colored eyeshadow, which I think we can try and set something with this. And then underneath there's also three different colors. So I just really need that to change my life. I know you're an eyeshadow. I know. I don't care. Okay, it's soaking up like a little bit of the liquidness. That's at least manageable. <laughs> Another kind of weird thing was just like the lack of blushes. It seemed like every blush was actually supposed to be a lip product duo. So I'm just gonna use one of the lip products as blush. So I got this one. It's really cute. Use just a little bit on my cheeks. So I'm just taking it like on my finger, being very careful not to go overboard because God knows this foundation won't cover it. There we go. Tell me I don't look horrible. <laughs> this is really cute though. I think while I was shopping, if I'm remembering correctly, it was just really hard to find kind of like eyebrow pencils, just the face stuff. So I did end up finding this one, which you know what's interesting on here? This is the brand Langmani, made in China and it's cruelty free. It's got the cruelty free label. So I'll have to check that brand, but it's interesting. Ooh, and it's pigmented. Okay, see, no reason to freak out. We're okay. For eyeshadow, oh my gosh. Timu had like the coolest <laughs> options for eyeshadow. They definitely pulled me in. I mean, these are kind of fun. Those are so pretty. <gasps> I kind of want to try this. Ooh, this is pretty. There's just no way that this actually looks this good. Must try. So I got three of these liquidy, shifted, chromes, sparkly options. So let's see this one. It looks like it could be like a hollow shift. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It's not hollow. It's very much like unicorn, purple to green. Oh my. That was way more pigmented than I was expecting. This one's supposed to be more like a glitter. Ooh, that's got hollow reflex in it. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. <laughs> Look at those shifts, pretty. I also got this eyeshadow palette. It was $4.94. Okay, this actually looks quite pretty. I'm liking these shades. We've got some nice mauves. So if I take that one, okay. Okay, and if this is pigmented, I'll be very impressed. Gathering all my eyeshadow brushes, we will start with this shade. And we're just gonna put that all over, just as a base. My eye is creasing. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, now we're gonna go in with, we're going with like this light brown. We're just kind of doing something that's really nothing, honestly. Okay, tons of fallout. <sighs> I don't like this palette. I don't like this. Maybe I'll try this. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do the glitter first. So I'm gonna do, Okay, yeah, I feel better already. Oh my gosh. Like it's a purpley green shift, but where it is on my eye is coming just green. Oh yeah, I'm feeling better already. Okay, so pretty. Over top of that, I'm gonna put the glittery one, just cause why not, you know? Little hollow. Little hollow. Okay, now I'll go in with this kind of rose gold and try to kind of blend the two together. We're just going for almost like that glossy eye look. Very glossy eye. Okay, this palette, burn it. We don't need that. These actually as cool as they look. I liked these. Okay, I got this. It's very similar to the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. It was a dollar and 76 cents. So I'm gonna highlight underneath my eye. So let's see how pigmented this is. Okay, it added like that frosty look under my eye. It's not super pigmented. Next things we have are kind of fun. We have, first of all, rainbow eyeliners. We also have this thing that will paint a double lash. And this, what is this? What is this? What? I know for a fact I shouldn't be putting that in my eye. This is a easy no skip eyeliner. It was $5.39 and it is huge. This product's also super alarming because, wow, that smells like paint thinner. Um, okay. 
I'm gonna take a rain check on that. I'm getting too old for this, you guys. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. It is clearly a copy of Benetton. It's a lip tint, but it looks just like Benetton. Anyway, back to eyeliner, okay? So I wanna see this. So basically, it's an eyeliner, but look at the end there. Apparently, this is really good for drawing little eyelashes. So heck yes, we will do that. So I need to focus. One eternity later. Oh my gosh, this is actually cool. I've never seen a product like this at the drugstore. This is actually really cool. This is a unique product. I actually like this. Don't get me wrong, I look a little crazy, but like I like it. Next we have all the rainbow eyeliners. I'm so upset because each one is wrapped individually, which means I have to unwrap each one. Ooh, okay. Pink. Ooh, I like that pink. Blue. Turquoise. Ooh. Orange. Purple. Ooh, these are really nice. And red. Okay, that is really pretty. I don't really wear red, but that is nice. I'm thinking we go purple. Is that crazy? Okay, why now are you not working? It almost feels as though it dried up already. <laughs> what is going on today? I'm just gonna also take the black. I'm just gonna build out a wing. Okay, I'm doubling down. There's something that I bought that I probably shouldn't do. This will either completely destroy the look or it will be awesome and you're all gonna love it. I've seen some people do this on Instagram. So basically you take the temporary tattoo and you're gonna put it like there, and it's gonna be like part of the makeup. We're doing it, we're doing it. <laughs> I'm ruining my makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna not wreck the rest of my face with this. <gasps> oh, period. <laughs> period. Also, all my foundation came off. Slay. <laughs> Okay, continuing along. We have a mascara. This thickens and lengthens. Look how cool this is. Excuse me, that's freaking sweet. Okay, let's look. I mean, that's a good wand. How much was this? $5.84. Okay, I know of a lot of mascaras for around that that are really nice. It's not thickening. If anything, it's just kind of lengthening and separating. It's just not applying like a ton of product when I coat through them. <gasps> Wait, no, I forgot. An electric eyelash curler? Lash perm, does it heat up? <gasps> a heated eyelash curler? Should I just rip off all my eyelashes for this video? I think we must. I completely forgot. I got this heated eyelash curler and I plugged it in at the beginning of this video. I'm just gonna curl them when they have mascara on them. So first I'm gonna turn it on and just remember this moment of when I had eyelashes, in case I burn them off, it's supposed to heat it kind of like it perms your eyelashes. You know, like you straighten your hair, you curl your lashes. So I'm just kind of feeling, oh my gosh. Oh, it's quite hot. <laughs> I really like having lashes. <laughs> Wish me luck, you guys. Now, just so you guys know, I don't usually curl my lashes because my eyelashes already have a curl to them, but I'm just seeing. Because it's an interesting concept, honestly. Because by rights, it should keep it curled for longer. Okay, that wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be. It's not that warm. Definitely not as warm as like a curling iron. It's just like a light warm. If anything, it's maybe just a bit of a gimmick. Okay, we got two types of lashes. These are actually both really, really nice lashes. They have clear bands and they just look really pretty. I'm actually very excited about these. Here's that lash, look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna put the whole lash on. Ooh. I think they look pretty. They're definitely helping my lack of mascara moment. But that mascara really did nothing. You know that eyeshadow thing I really liked? It's kind of scaling off in one piece. 
a little concerned, but gonna move forward nonetheless. We have a ton of lip products. Okay, we have a lip liner. We have this, which seems kind of cool. We have this with a little teddy bear on the top. And then we had the one we used for cheeks. So first I'm gonna use this one because I want to. So you just go. <gasps> That's so much more pink than I expected it to be. Ooh, I like that. I think it might be like a color changing with your lips. Let me just lip line with this Gigi Bear lip liner. And you know what? Let's use this too. This is apparently really glossy, so I'm just gonna put it in the center. Oh my gosh, that smells like a fuzzy peach. Love that. Am I done? Did I do it? Okay, give me a minute. A few moments later. <laughs> no. Here's my take. If you enjoy shopping on Timu, I would say the categories that succeeded was the makeup brushes were very good, the eyelashes were great, and the lip products were pretty good as well. At first I was really loving these and the color pigmentation and everything, but the way they've dried and settled on my skin is quite flaky, so I probably wouldn't repurchase. But with all of that, this has been a unsponsored full face of makeup from Timu. I'm not exactly sure why, but I feel very exhausted. <laughs> Maybe it was the foundation with no product in it. Maybe it was that eyeliner pen that smelled like paint thinner, but I think I'm gonna go take a nap now. This was a ton of fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. And if you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button. There's still like 40% of you who are watching but aren't subscribed. What is it? Is it something about me? So if you're a regular viewer, make sure to click the subscribe button so you're notified every time I post and it really helps out the channel as well. And yes, with that, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!